Hi guys and welcome to part 23 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we created the add book view and on this part we are going to add the add book component so we can add a new book to our Firebase database. For that we need to go to addbook.component.ts file and here we are going to implement all the logic. We are going to start with the data pickers and on the data pickers we are going to see that we have declared two events. For the first one, when the selection of the data picker is going to change, we execute the update data edit function. And when the selection changes for the data red picker, then we are going to execute the update data red function. So let's go back to our component.ts file. And here we are going to implement our first function, which is going to be update data edit. And it's going to have a parameter date edit. In here what we simply need to do is that we need to assign this value to our date edit property. So for that we just write this dot date edit is equal to date edit. The same way we implement the update date red. So for that we just change the this dot date red is equal to date red. From the component.html file we have put an if condition that this diff is going to be shown only if the date red has a value. So for that let's go back to component.ts file and here let us add another property which is going to be isRed and it is a bool type. So when the user updates the date red field we are going to assign this value to this.isRed is equal to true. The default value of the isRed is going to be false. So this is all you need to do related to date pickers. Now let's go back to component.html file and here at the top of the form we have declared that when the form is submitted, we need to execute the submit add function. So let's go back to our component.ts file and implement this function, submit add. So what we need to do in this function is that we need to create a new object with the fields from the form and submit it to our Firebase database. So let's just write in here, let book is equal to, and here we are going to declare all the fields the same like in our database. So for that we just write author is going to be this.author and we paste all the other properties like title, price, etc. Now what we need to do is that we need to push this object to our Firebase database. So for that we are going to use the Firebase service. To use the Firebase service we need to inject it first and inside the constructor just inject your Firebase service. We import the necessary file and we go back to our function. So here we are going to write this dot firebase service dot add book and we add our book as a parameter. This function currently is missing in our firebase service. So for that, let's go to firebase dot service dot ts file and add the add book function. And just below the get book details, add a new function, which is going to have the book details. Before we push the book to our database, we need to remove all the undefined fields, which don't have values. So for that we write var filter fields and to remove all the undefined fields just write in here json.pairs and inside the json.pairs write json.stringify the book details. So this is how you remove all the undefined fields and at the end just return this.books.push function the filtered book. Save the changes and go back to your component.ts file you are going to see that the error was removed. After we have pushed the book to our database, what we need to do is that we need to redirect the user to the books view. For that we are going to use the router, but to use the router we need to first inject it as a service. So the router belongs to angular slash router and it's imported successfully. Now go back to your function and here just write this.router.navigate to the books view. Now let's run our application by writing ng-serve. After the application has started, go to add book and here fill in all the data. I'm going to paste an image URL. So for this book, I'm not going to add a date red field, which means that we don't get to see the description and the rate fields. Let's create the book. So we created the book and we see that we are being redirected to the books view. And in here at the end, we are going to see our book. Let's go and create another book. But this time let us add a date red field, which is 19. We see that we get two more fields, the book description and the book rate. Let's rate this book 5, paste the same image URL and create the book. 
The same way we are being redirected to the books view and at the end we are going to see two books, the books and the book read. Let's go to our home view. Since we rated our read book with 5.0, we are going to see that book in our My Top Rated Books section. And for the other book, since we didn't provide a date read property, we are going to see it in our Books I have not read yet section. So here we have our book. Let's go to the details of this book. And here we are going to see on the description section, we are going to see that no description for this book was provided. Let's go to the other book. And here you are going to see the description that we added on the description field. This book is a book we read. But we are going to see that for both the date read and the date edit fields, the format of the date doesn't look nice. But this is what we are going to do on the next part. On the next part, we are going to extend our Firebase service with another method which is going to be used to format the date. So guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next part.